Hi, this is Alec Yates, and this is my Patreon page. I'm an artist and a children's book author. What I'm going to show you on my page is how to join and how to get access to some of my art classes and also check out my bio. So let me just scroll down. So here is where you can choose which tier you want to go to. The one on the left is art for you and that is where my art classes are. Pay five dollars a month and you get to see what different types of art you're able to create. Sketching, drawing, uh, even doing abstract art. On the right hand side is all about me and it's a short bio of me. Also I tell about myself and also how I got started and where I'm at today. Also I shoot videos. I go around New York City and I shoot videos of different places that have art and also the architectural designs of some of the buildings. Now I do that only because if anybody is interested and coming to New York for a visit and see the different things that we have here, that would be a good tier to check out. But I will show you some of the different things that's on the, on the page. Here, as I mentioned that I'm a children's book author, here's a video. I'm doing an interview of what I'll talk of when I talk about my book. And the name of the book is called The Flashlight and Time Machine. I could just give you a brief. My name is Alex. I'm the author I'm a teacher assistant at work. And I was born and raised in Manhattan. Basically, been working with children for, I guess, a few years now. And I'm also an artist, do a lot of paintings, uh, mostly sketches right now. Work with all medias, pencil, color, watercolors. And I also was in the silk screen industry for a long period of time. I attended the School of Visual Arts, and my major there was illustration. That's the first time I actually thought about being an author, being an author of a children's book. So I went home that night and I thought of an idea of a children's book. At the time, the title was different. It was the magic flashlight and the story was different as well. So after I graduated, I uh, decided to upgrade the book, uh, gave it a different name and a better story. Basically, the story is about four kids who are coming home from school. One kid sees an abandoned building across the street, and he just decides to, like, hey, guys, let's go over there and let's check it out. So they all go over to the abandoned building. They look around, and some of them decide to go upstairs. So they all go upstairs, and they see a huge trunk, and the trunk is covered with this huge, heavy canvas. And so they all joined together, pulled the canvas off, and they all joined together again to push the top of the trunk up so they can go inside and see what's inside. So they looked inside and saw all these documents. You know, they had a lot of writings on them and start going digger, you know, dig deep and find out what's really in the trunk size, just documents. So they saw a, a piece of metal that was showing through the documents. And one of the kids pushed all the documents away, got to that piece of metal, pulled it out, and they saw it was a flashlight. They looked at it closer, and they saw they had three windows. One window for the month, one window for the day, one window for the year. And they realized that on the, some of the documents, they had like a date, May 5th, 1925. They started fooling around with the flashlight, 
and they was looking for the on button. And they was asking each other, why would a flashlight be in a trunk with all these documents? In it? They started looking at the flashlight and trying to figure out where you turn it on. So one of the kids found the button to turn it on. But before they did that, they put in the, the date. The month was May, the day, the 5th, the year 1925. So just for the heck of it, they put it in and it turned on the flashlight. And it started to shake a little bit because it had so much power, I guess. And the light showed up on the wall and all of a sudden an image started to show, started to appear. And within that image, there were people, cars, things were moving around into the image. They were so surprised to see this that they couldn't believe their eyes. So they held it there and they was like trying to figure out how could this be? So one of the kids got closer to it and started putting their hand through the image and it actually went through the wall. And one of the kids was like, wait a minute, this is not just a light or image. This is a portal to the past. The process of going from creating the book to the publishers went kind of smooth. When all the centrics um, came about, as I said before, they called me about three or four times. I said no. So I called them back, and that's when we started talking about the idea of getting my book published and get it out there so everybody can read it and enjoy the book. Yeah, I think it's all, having a book is always interesting to have, uh, especially nowadays. It's kind of difficult to have someone read a book as opposed to being on their cell phones, texting and all that. If they have like a book, like for instance, years ago, not too long, not too long ago, J.K. Wallen came up with the idea of doing Harry Potter. So her book was so interesting that everybody was buying it. I like it to be the same thing with not just, just, not just myself, but with other authors as well. Trying to get books out there for people to read. Not just on um, a tablet or iPad or a Kindle but actually holding an actual book and turn the page and read each page. Okay, so that is an interview that I did with uh, one of the publishers. Now, I logged into my account and just to give you an idea, when you become a patron, this is what you're going to see. Depending on which level, this is on the all about me level. And this is the video of the American Museum of Natural History. And I think this is the last uh, video of that series of videos that I did of the, of the museum. So we scroll down. And if you have any kids that are interested in dinosaurs, well, guess what? I have in videos of dinosaurs from the museum. And I went to different exhibits. This one is the Native American exhibit. And it shows the different garments that they, that they wore. This is the African American exhibit, or the African exhibit of the museum. And just to give you a brief um, look at that, This is the outfits that they wore 
I guess different tribes will wear different outfits. By shooting these different videos, I thought it was a good idea to have people that have never been to New York come to New York and check out these different museums. So the rest of these are different exhibits inside the museum. This one I think is the instruments that they used I guess to communicate with other tribes or local communities in the area. And this is the music that they was playing in the museum. This particular museum has a lot to see. I mean a lot to see. These are some interesting instruments that they use to play on. This is how they was able to communicate with two other tribes. This, mu this museum is also great for kids as well.
So in order to check out the different videos on my page, go to patreon.com forward slash Alec Yates. Become a patron so you get access to see all these different videos and learn how to draw, paint. And here is a video of the birds. Different birds that is in this particular exhibit. And this is the entrance to the museum. The museum itself is on 81st Street and Central Park West, Manhattan, New York. Now here, many of you have, may have seen this particular image on flyers or maybe on my Facebook page. So here is one of my art classes. The image I call Masters of Fright. And this is it here. So there in the art class, I'm showing people how to sketch the mummy, the werewolf, Invisible Man, Dracula, and Frankenstein. So that's like the art classes that I have. So, going to the next part of my page is I show people how to draw Spider-Man. I'll show you a little clip of that. Fast forward this. So that just gives you an idea of what my class, my art class looks like. I have a few here. One, this one is the sketching of the Hulk. Dragon Ball Z. And SpongeBob SquarePants. This is just a short video of photos that was the at the Atlantic Avenue 
train station. I'll go to the next part of my. This is one of my other art classes where I think like the first one drawing a coffee cup. This is a portrait of a famous or popular DJ called Larry Levan, which was part of the, of, he was the DJ of the Paradise Garage Club back in the late 70s, early, the mid 80s. Here is a sketch of Malcolm X from boy to man. So when he was older, when he was a little younger, and when he was a kid. This is a block party that they gave. Uh, they were actually renaming a street after Larry Devan. Yeah, he was that good. Give you a little music here. So if any of you remember Paradise Garage, you check out this video. Another video of the block party. But they also had a Paradise Garage reunion, which was back in 2013 at a club on, I believe, on the west side of 42nd Street. Let's give you a glimpse of that. the reunion. Also, there's more artwork. This is a Instagram model that I did, all in color pencil. This was oil pastel, sketch of a baby. Did a sketch of Aretha Franklin, Queen of Soul. And on the bottom is the two different shafts 
the original Shaft, Richard Roundtree, and the most recent is Samuel Jackson as Shaft. Now here's Michelle Obama, Oprah Winfrey, and oh God. Anyway, it's going from from the past to the present of what black women have been uh, made major strides in their life. And this is Malcolm X. Sojourner Truth is her name, sorry. Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King. Short video. This is a fun video that I put together. And this is called the Instagram Models. Another video of my artwork. And here I am again sketching from my iPad mini. So here you have it. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a, a patron, once again, go to patreon.com forward slash Alec Yates and you get access to my art classes and the also to the other uh, tier, which is all about me, has my bio that talks about myself. I do videos of different artworks around town and I also do videos of places of interest. And I believe on one of the videos, now this is the place of interest that I was talking about called the Oculus. Just give you a short view of that. This is part two of the Oculus. So I'm all the way downstairs right now. And ground level. Okay, that was part two. Here is part one.
So the reason why I'm doing these videos is to let people know what New York has to offer as far as art goes. The architectural design on this is massive. You have to be here to actually see the detail and the design of it up close. Plus, if you've never been to New York, you got to come down to Lower Manhattan first to see this. It's huge. When I first saw it, I thought it was like huge dinosaur bones or like a, a rack of lamb. side here. So I'll just end it there. So basically, like I just said, that it's these videos that I shoot around town is just to tell people uh, what we have here, here in New York. If you haven't been here and I'm showing people the different places to come see this particular video of the Opolis it will be a, a good example of people just coming to the lower Manhattan of New York and uh, just take a look and go inside. So if you're interested, become a patron. Join my art class for $5 a month or go to the All About Me tier, which is $10 a month, and you get to read about me, how I got started in art, like I said before, and see the different videos of art in and around New York City. So, once again, come take a look, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get access and uh, see what I have. Take care. Bye.